Okay, so now we want to solve um, analysis algorithm uh, to find uh, whether a given array has unique elements or not. Okay, so given an array A, uh, 0, 3, and minus 1, so n elements, and you want to find whether it has uh, unique elements, which means no two elements should be the same. So it's a brute force strategy we are looking at here, basically going through uh, picking up one element and comparing it with the rest of the elements in the array and we do that for i equals 0 to n minus 2 so pick up a of i which is the first element and compare that with a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 up to a of n minus 1 the last element and see if anything matches if anything matches you return false telling the array does not have unique elements if if uh, you can you you were successful which means uh, they don't a of zero didn't match with anything else then you try with a of one try a of one compare with a of two a of three a of four up to a of n minus one it did not match then go ahead with a of two compare with a of three a of four up to a of n minus one so you do pairwise comparisons right so for example if the array had something like uh, this so how do you test whether it has unique elements pick up three the strategy that we are doing here is this pick up three compare with one compare with four compare with eight and nine three doesn't match with any of them so then pick up one compare with four compare with eight compare it with nine so it doesn't match so then pick up four compare with eight and nine doesn't match pick up eight compare with nine doesn't match so nine is on its own right so that's why you do from this is index zero and this is say n equals uh, n minus 1 this is index x is 5 element array so it's 4 so you really do go through the outer loop goes from 0 to n minus 2 because you go up to only this point and you pick it up and compare with this and the inner loop goes from i plus 1 to n minus 1 all right to compare a of i with a of j okay so each step what you're doing is key comparison so that's going to be your basic operation so for i equals 0 to n minus 2 that's the outer loop j equals i plus 1 to n minus 1 that's the inner loop and each time we do one key comparison right so we need to simplify this further so let me show an easy approach than what is given in the uh, solutions question bank here so let's do this um, <coughs> So I can write it as, uh, so I thought this is going to be big. Um, so this is going to be, uh, this is a one over here, right? So I can do this as replace this with what? The upper limit minus the lower limit, which is i plus one plus one. So if you do solve this, it's going to be n minus one minus i sorry, uh, minus one plus one. So minus one plus one goes off. So basically, you will have what? Um, let's do one more step you're going to have n I can rearrange it slightly so that n minus i minus 1 so now what you do is substitute just the value values of i so if i is 0 this is n minus 0 minus 1 plus if i is 1 it's going to be n minus 1 minus 1 plus if i is 2 it's going to be this if i is 3 it's going to be this so on we have n minus 2 the largest value upper limit so this is n minus i is going to be n minus 2 minus 1 so that's going to be n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 plus n minus 4 plus so on plus this is n minus plus 2 minus 1 so that's going to be so the n minus n plus 2 minus 1 so it's going to be 1 you see the whole thing reduced to 1 
So this is now 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1. So that's going to be n times n minus 1 over 2. All right. So that's going to be what? Theta of n squared. So I just say theta of n squared. Okay. 